G'day YouTube and welcome back to the ASX Portfolio channel. My name is Jonathan. So today we're actually just going to be simulating geometric Brownian motion in Python. We're not going to be going through how to derive these dynamics, um, but we'll be doing that in the following tutorial and we'll be understanding Edo uh, calculus, Edo integrals and understanding stochastic processes. So if you want to uh, learn more about that, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can see that video when it comes through. So let's jump into simulation. So I'm going to be going through this Jupyter Notebook um, here. So here we have um, geometric Brownian motion. Um, we have an initial stock price, which is greater than zero, and the dynamics as defined by this stochastic differential equation. So here we have a couple of terms. We've got this mu, which is the coefficient for drift. Um, we've got a constant coefficient um, for volatility as a percentage point, um, which is sigma. And then we have this drift term and then the actual stochastic uh, integral component, which is this uh, Ito integral, um, which has this Brownian motion component. So here in integrated form, you can see that the log of the stock price follows this normal distribution um, with respect to this drift, the initial stock price, and then it has a variance that's defined by this sigma squared with respect times by the time. So in explicit form, in explicit form, we have um, the initial stock price exponential to the power of these two terms here. So let's just get ahead and actually um, import our dependencies. So for this, we're going to need to import numpy, numpy as np, and we're gonna import matplotlib.py plot as PLT. So now that we've got that, let's define our parameters. So our mu is going to be 0.1 or 10% over a year time horizon. Our number of time steps is what we're going to define as N. Now let's just say a thousand, that should, oh, a hundred, that'll give us granular um, piecewise uh, simulations. So we can view that on the graph. Let's go time in years, so big T, that'll be one. Number of simulations, let's call that M and we'll give 100. Initial stock price, SO, which we can call 100. And volatility, which we'll define as sigma and we'll call that 30%. So run that. Now the simulating the geometric Brownian motion paths. So first off, we need to calculate the actual time step. Um, because we want to return a vector um, for all these paths for all these time steps. So let's calculate that. That'll just be t divided by n. Really simple. Now let's use simulation using numpy arrays. So we're going to do this in one step instead of iterating over for paths. So let's call this st. Now we're going to go numpy exponential. Now within this function here, we're going to do these components. So mu minus sigma to the power of two divided by two. That'll be times by dt. Now that we've got that component, we need to go sigma times by numpy array. Let's just put some spaces in here so you can really see this clearly. Times numpy array, and that'll be random dot normal. So we're going to be um, randomly sampling from the normal distribution and that'll be NP square root with respect to that DT. So we're just going to be randomly sampling from Brownian motion with a, the square root of that change in time um, for each time step. Now the size of this is going to be the number of simulations by the number of time steps we want to take. Now, because of the form that we want this in, um, we're going to take all of this. We're gonna take the transpose of this random normal. So once we've got this um, time step, we wanna take the transpose so that um, we're actually getting the simulation for each time step. So once you've done that, what we need to do is actually include a um, initial point, an initial ray of ones, and you'll see why in a second. So we're going to use vstack for this. So it's just numpy vstack, 
and all you need to do is call numpy ones and the dimensions that you want is the same as our simulation number. So 100, that's M, and we're just combining that with the ST um, simulation numpy array. So once we've got this stacked together, all we need to do is multiply this through by our initial value. And what you'll notice here is that this is the daily or the time step changes in terms of the drift and then the variance, um, the stochastic component. Um, so this is the time step implementations. And what we need to do is actually um, accumulate these over time. So we're gonna use the cumulative product um, along each simulation path, which is axis one. So for that, what we need to do is actually multiply this by ST and we're going to use this function called cumprod. So we need to define the axis of which it's going to um, calculate the cumulative product and that's gonna be axis one, which is across each of those simulation paths. So once we've done that, we can hit enter. The, yeah, we can probably view one of those stacks now. So let's just return that array and you can see here's a simulation path um, for time step one. So now let's consider the time intervals in years. So um, what we need to do is actually use NumPy lin space for this. So we're only going out to one year, but we have need evenly spaced time steps. So to T and we're going to have N plus one um, spaces. So this will get us back an array and let's just call that T or time. And then now we need to require a numpy array that is the same shape as ST and we're gonna use that so we can plot um, the function. So all we need to do is go np.full so we're creating a, a shape that is the same as our ST array, which is M N plus one now. It was M N, but now we actually added the array of ones. So now that is going to be M N plus one. And then we're going to fill this entire value. So our fill underscore value is going to be equal to time. So I'm just gonna have an array um, for each of these simulations um, that's just equivalent to the time. So we're going to take the transpose of this vector now and we're going to run that. So now we can plot this graph and you can see here that we have years along the x-axis. We've got the stock price along the y-axis here. We've got our dispersion um, resulting from the 30% volatility and our 10% increase in the, the mean, the drift over this um, geometric Brownian motion. So hopefully you guys learnt a lot on just how to simulate geometric Brownian motion. But yeah, in general, geometric Brownian motion is a very useful model for option pricing theory. And um, I hope you get a lot of value out of this tutorial. In the next one, we're gonna learn, okay, how can we actually use financial mathematics, um, Edo calculus, Edo integrals, and understand that so we can then start increasing the complexity of these stochastic differential equations to try and add different parameters. So if you want to learn more about that, jump and jump into our next video next week, hit the notification bell so you're notified when that comes through. Anyway, until next time, YouTube, see you later.